Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Bianca. Today I have some Dollar Tree DIYs for fall and as you can see they are all buffalo check themed so I hope you enjoy these. Don't forget to let me know which one was your favorite and let's get into the video. Alright, so for the first DIY I thought this Dollar Tree sign was perfect because it already has the hard part done for me. It has the buffalo check already on there. Once that's open I'm just going to move that to the side and I'm also going to use this Dollar Tree piece. I only need the pumpkin part so I took it off of that bottom wood piece. I have used this one for a few DIYs so I'm not going to use the back side because there's like glue stuck to it. So I'm just going to remove the burlap piece on here and then sand off as much of that glitter as I can. Alright so it's going to go on here like this. I just want to show you how it's going to look. So before putting that on there or gluing that on, I'm going to go ahead and paint it with my Waverly White chalk paint just to give it a good base coat. That way I can run some antique glaze over it to make it look like it's wood. So what I wanted to do was ask y'all about my little dilemma. Um, and while I'm painting this, I can go ahead and let y'all know kind of like real quick the background story. So. I have been getting my nails done, I'm talking about fake acrylic solar nails since high school, so like 16, 17 years now, and I don't really remember how they affected my nails back then. I didn't pay attention when I was younger, but as of recently, within the past year or two, I noticed that my nails got very, very weak. They would be like sore after I got them done, and they became, my nails became very paper thin, and they would hurt. So as of the quarantine this year, as of then, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take care of my nails now. I took like vitamins, or I'm taking vitamins, like the hair, nails, and skin vitamins, and I started to get my gel nails done, because I wanted to take care of my own nails. Okay, I'll continue in a second. I'll remember where I left off. So I have this pack of metal words from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna take one of them, and I'm gonna paint one of them black. So since this is galvanized, it would probably be a little bit easier to use a spray paint, but I ended up doing about three coats of this black paint. So I always liked getting fake nails because of course you can get that long length that you want or just the thickness of the nail that you want. And then of course they last for like two to three weeks, right? Well, I feel like I'm having bad luck or something. Or you guys let me know because I have been searching that gel nails are at least supposed to last the same, like two to three weeks. I just got these done, these maroon burgundy gel nails done for about a week and two days and they already started chipping. So what are y'all's experience with fake and gel nails? I know gel nails are supposed to be more healthy for your nails, but aren't they supposed to last longer? Please let me know what you guys think. Should I try a different salon maybe? All right, so back to our DIY. We're gonna go ahead and take our bristled brush and run it over with this antique wax so it can look like it is made out of wood. All right, and then we're just gonna hot glue all of this together. Alright you guys, so I hope you like how simple this first one was. I just have it next to a little Dollar Tree Amber vase that I got last year with some hops in it. So let's move on to the second DIY. So for this next one, I'm actually using this thrift store lantern that it's kind of broken at the bottom a little and even there was something at the top that's missing but either way I'm gonna cover that up with this huge bow I'm gonna make with Dollar Tree ribbon if you don't have a lantern to use you can actually make one with some Dollar Tree frames it's super easy I know you've probably seen it on my channel lots of times but if not I will leave a video below I have all of this ribbon I'm gonna use from Dollar Tree the only one that's not from Dollar Tree is this white burlap one that I got from Dollar General I'm going to start off with my burlap ribbon. 
first and a ruler. I know there's so many different ways to make bows, you guys, but this is just how I make this one. What I'm doing is placing it at eight inches and I'm twisting it. And I did cut a ducktail at the end, but I'll show you that in a second. And then I am moving it down and now I am measuring out to the 12 inches and I am going to meet those two together and twist. Alright, so one loop is done. Now I'm placing the end of that, spreading that out and going down to the 12 inches again. And then I'll grab that, pinch right there and then make that loop. So these are six inch loops. And whenever you meet the two, you're going to grab it and then twist it. So there's going to be three loops and two tails. All right, and now for the third and final loop at 12 inches. Both tails are eight inches long, so I'm just cutting at the eight inch and then I will make the duck tail. I'm just gonna say V cut because I'm not too sure if that's what it's called. All right, to hold that in place, I am going to take my twine, wrap it around, make a couple of knots, and then cut the excess off. If you don't have a pipe cleaner, you can do it this way, but a pipe cleaner would be way easier. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to get that V cut. So um, to get it looking like the other side, you just fold it in half and you're gonna cut at a diagonal. Onto the burnt orange ribbon, I'm going to do the exact same process. I'll just let you watch for this one and I'm going to kind of fast forward this. The only difference with this one is I'm doing it a little bit smaller by making five and a half inch loops. So I'm going down to the 11 inch once I start doing the loops. I'm just cutting the end to give me that V cut and then I'm setting it on top of the buffalo check bow. I'm just kind of playing around with it so you can see all areas of this bow. I did the white burlap bow off camera so I have it done already and I did the exact same measurements as the burnt orange one. So now I'm going to set it on top and then we are going to tie all of this together with more twine and then I'll be cutting off the excess and then we can kind of play with it, fluff up the loops. All I did was kind of move some of the tails and loops to the side and then wrapped it around and then we'll fluff it out again so you can't tell that I separated the loops in that area. If you like the rustic look of the twine, you can leave it like that. But what I decided to do was grab a piece of the buffalo check ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around that middle area. And then once I turn around on the opposite side, I'm just going to add some hot glue. All right, now I'm just going to hot glue it on here. But of course, you can add this type of bow to anything you want. So I added a candle inside of that lantern, but you can also add so many different things in there, like maybe pumpkins or some fairy lights in there. You know, there's so many ideas to do with something like this. For 
for this next DIY, I'm using these two Dollar Tree items. I have the styrofoam pumpkin and I have this little crate from there that I already used for a previous DIY. That's why it's black already. I'm going to use paint to do buffalo check on the front of this crate. And it's not perfectly six inches, but I'm going to go ahead and mark one inch increments. So it looks like I have 18 squares. Now what we're going to do, since we already have the black in the background, all I need is a gray and white. So first I'm going to mark where the gray paint needs to go and then we'll paint those squares. And I forgot to mark the center ones as well, so we're going to go ahead and paint those in too. Lastly, I just need the three squares in the center to be white. Onto the styrofoam pumpkin, I'm going to paint the whole thing white and it needed about two coats. Instead of leaving this pumpkin just straight up white, I decided to grab some of my antique glaze and make some lines where the indentions are on the pumpkin already. You can do this with brown paint. Earlier when I when I painted the flat pumpkin white and made it look like it was wood, in the first DIY, you can also use brown paint for that too. So once I do this part, then I'm going to take a bigger brush and I'll show you what I do with that next. I'm using a wet bristle brush for this next part to achieve this kind of antique looking pumpkin. So when I start rubbing on that antique glaze, it doesn't come on so strong and dark. I did paint the stem white too, but honestly, I think I should have just put a different stem on it because it just looks weird, but um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm going to glue the pumpkin on top with my hot glue gun, and I'm also going to add some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. I want to make a little bow to add to the pumpkin so since this ribbon is real thick but I want to use it because I like that burnt orange I'm going to cut it in half and then I'll show you how I make the bow For this one, you can even add a word to the front of the little crate too, that would look cute. Alright, on to the final DIY. 
I'm using this Dollar Tree Farm Fresh pumpkin sign to make a tray out of. So I'm just going to remove that tag and I'm going to paint the opposite side with my white chalk paint. I'm taking my ruler and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the crane and make one inch increments. And I'm going to come in the opposite way and mark one inch all the way down to. Alright, now that I got all of my squares, since this one is white on the background, I'm going to mark all of the squares where it needs to be black. And of course I messed up in that little area, but I'll fix that later. All the black squares are done, so lastly we want to do the gray squares. So I went ahead and brought the green leaf from the back of the original picture on the pumpkin and brought it to the front. I should have waited anyways though because I still need to paint the stem on. And again I'm using my antique wax but you can use brown paint to do the stem. Okay, lastly, I want to lift this up, so I'm going to use these wood stems. I'm going to grab four of them and glue them to the bottom, and these are from Dollar Tree. This would look so cute on like your coffee table or island in the kitchen or even your dining room table and what I have on here is an amber vase with hops in it from Hobby Lobby and then I also have a little hops stem or actually a hops pick at the bottom laying there next to that Dollar Tree pumpkin. It's the chance of I had a lot of fun with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed all of these Dollar Tree DIYs for fall. Let me know which one was your favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me any comments below for questions that you have. And I'll see y'all in the next video.